the issue here is not just Ted Cruz, but Donald Trump and, and frankly, the other candidates who are at the top of the list. Uh, none of them have any kind of real experience and, and record of accomplishment. And in fact, I would argue that a couple of them, and Cruz was one of them, have a, have a pretty strong record of, of, of not accomplishing things and being very divisive. And, and, and um, I don't think we need more of that in Washington. We need someone who's a fighter, someone who can push a, a, an agenda that's going to get America back on the right track and make us safer, make us more secure make us more prosperous, make us more uh, uh, sound uh, in our communities and our families. But we need, a, we, need, we need someone who can accomplish those things. And, and I, I use Cruz as an example, and I use that particular speech as an example, is that was his filibuster of Obamacare. Right. Yeah. And the filibuster of Obamacare was a failed strategy that, that elevated one person and threw everybody else under the bus. And, and, and instead of, you look at what's happened recently. I know you probably know this, but this week, the House is going to vote to do what? To over to, to, to defund Obamacare. Obamacare. To do what Ted Cruz convinced the United States, uh, of, the United States of America that nobody in the Senate wanted to, he was the only guy, and that nobody else wanted to do it. Well, now the, the charge is being led not by him, but by those who he said were not for defunding Obamacare, right, have time. actually led the charge, gotten it done, and are going to put a bill on President Obama's desk. And so I used that because I thought that was the best example of saying, here's what divisive leadership is that accomplishes nothing. And here's what real leadership is that can make us safe.